Within PharmIT, if, if you're using um, the Scion, the Workabout Pro here, to record management information like at lambing time, etc., the most important thing about it is that the actual U's are in the system. If they're not, you get prompted to create the U. Now, within, on the Scion, there are two methods of creating the animal record. It's only basic information you need, the tag number, the breed, the sex, and the age of the animal. We extend that a little bit further because we also let you enter a, a management tag on the farm, like a, a number 45 or something like that. And we also let you group them within the setup routine. But the setup routine is really designed just to get the ewes into the system. Normally we wouldn't do this at lambing, we do this at tupping time, which is the best time of year to get yourself set up. But if you have to do it, you can do it at lambing. And it just involves basic questions that are under the re-tag section on the sheep menu. But if you want to go into sheep setup to get them in, we go into the retag button down here, and then we've got two sh setup routines in the top corner. One is one called sheep setup, which lets you do an individual animal, and the other one, which is called batch setup, um, lets you do multiple animals but makes them all the same. So if we just do a quick sheep setup, first of all, you click on, on, on the button and it asks you to read the tag. Now I've got a tag that's in my hand here, which I'm going to read rather than reading the sheep, but normally we'd read the sheep. So if we click, click OK to read it, it reads the tag, you can see the tag number comes up on the screen. Once the tag number is on the screen, you click OK. We then just confirm the sex, so in this case we'll say it's a U. Yeah. We then get to confirm the breed, so we'll say yes, it's a, a Jacob, yeah, and click OK. And then the next thing we're going to enter is, is the age of the U. We don't expect you to know the date of birth. If you've got it, you can enter it later from your pedigree records. But all we really want is to say, is it a three-year-old or is it a four-year-old? Yeah. And we're always trying to work from like the 1st of April. So if we, we say the age of the U is a three-year-old, you can enter a farm management tag if you like. We're not going to bother with that, so we just click OK. And you, put, you can group them at the same time. Now, this is particularly useful if you've got like tupping records for some U's that you're setting up at scanning time or something like that. So we click OK to that. I don't want to do that. We get a little summary, click OK, and then that animal's on the system. And that means that once the animal's on the system, if we click cancel to come out of setup, if we go up to info up here, and I click click to read, I can read my tag again. Yeah, its tag number will come up without actually asking me for any other information. And if I go to view details, I've got a nice summary page on there that gives me who she is, how old she is, um, uh, sex and breed, and on there. And the other information then, that we would record later on would come and be available to us in the field under this tab. So sheep setup lets us get animals into the system. Similarly, if we were on a batch setup, so we cancel out that right a minute and went into batch setup, batch setup is the same for the first animal. So if you go into batch setup, again, it'll have me list there of ones I've just done, because I've just done her. Yeah? But if we would add another animal to this list simply by scanning, it, it would carry forward the settings that I've just used. So it, it'll make them all Jacobs, it'll make them all U's, and it'll make them all three-year-olds. Yeah? Now, it, obviously, if you're, you're setting up a, a mixed group of sheep, you've got to do them as individuals. But if you, scan, if you can draft them all out into the same age group and same sex and breed, then it makes setting them up a very quick job. So that's setting up.